Okay, so we uh, we actually uh, can define our own uh, data type, so we call it hero. This is a movie clip. So we're actually creating a real hero, and the variable h contains all that power. So when you talk about hero, the hero class, it, ha it extends the movie clip. The movie clips happen to have certain properties, x values, y values. You can see it's blue, which means that it's uh, it's reserved, it's built in, it's to flash. X represents the X position of the movie clip, Y represents the Y position of the movie clip, and we see that uh, the hero's X position is equal to I times 50. So as we're looping, I is originally 0, 0 times 50 is 0, then when I is 1, 1 times 50 is 50, and when I is finally 2, 2 times 50 is 100. So here, uh, every time we loop, we're changing the hero's x position. First it's at 0, then it's at 50, then it's at a <clears throat> 150. Okay, so the hero's y position does not change. It's at the top, which is 0. And just to kind of see the different heroes being created, we're even, even going to change the alpha property of the movie clip, which is 0 0.5 plus i divided by 3.0. So this is just some formula to kind of uh, change the change the alpha, which represents how see-through it is. An alpha of zero means it's completely invisible, whereas an alpha of 1.0 means it's completely visible. So if uh, i is zero, zero divided by three is zero. So we start off at half visibility, and as i increases, if i becomes two, for example, two divided by three is roughly 0.66. So we're uh, definitely above <clears throat> the value one so it's fully visible. So the idea of an array is such that you can actually use this function called push. So when you push an element which can be in this case uh, a movie clip object you can actually push on objects to the array or you can push numbers to the array, you can even push text or strings to the array, you can push anything into the array it somehow pushes it to the end it keeps adding it to the end of the array. You could think of an array as um, a cartons, as different uh, kind of uh, uh, containers where it's, it's you can just fill them in uh, one after another. The first container would be position zero. The second container would be position one. The third container would be position two, and so forth and so on. So what's happening here? We have another for loop. Arrays can be um, Arrays has this property called length. Uh, this property automatically tells us how how many uh, items the array con contains. <clears throat> and using this in a for loop is efficient because, regardless of how long or or how short the the array is, we uh, uh, don't have to change this code. So we're looping from beginning to the end of the array, and every time we loop, we are uh, adding to the stage, uh, we're actually drawing that particular element. So a square bracket i, which could mean a square bracket 0, is the first element of the array, which happens to be a um, hero object, is actually added to the stage. And keep in mind that this hero object already, uh, we calculated the x position. So this, this whole a square bracket index is 0, which is the first index, or index 1, or index 2. It automatically contains all this sub-information, sub such as the x property, the y property, the transparency, or the alpha. <clears throat> so it automatically places it on the screen a little bit to the right, as well as changing the alpha. All right, so let's uh, run that, and you can see that pow 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 it did so and it did it correctly very good now if we run this code here if we um, this is a comment by the way a block comment slash star is the beginning and uh, comment and this is the slash uh, star slash is the end of the block comment this is nice to comment out many things if I were to say a dot pop uh, this would work if I just save this and I run it <coughs> it still runs and a square bracket one refers to the uh, second uh, second um, hero object. 
the position is 50, which is correct. However, if I were to uh, go a uh, square bracket 2, remember we have a, the a square bracket 0 exists, the a square bracket 1 exists, but after you pop it, if I run this, we're going to get an error message. We see that it says the term is undefined and has no properties. It's because even though a square bracket square bracket 2 should exist because we popped it pop the pop function actually knocks off the last element of the array so our array started at 0 we built up zero, position 0 1 2 but when we pop it it knocks off the last position so a square bracket 2 no, no longer exists so pushing and popping is a is a very popular concept <clears throat> and is uh, applicable to arrays Okay, let's not worry about that for now. Finally, let's take a look at this for loop here. We, we talked about drawing it already. And now let's uh, try moving this uh, hero snake to the right. So the idea here is that <clears throat> we have a loop. And it says uh, f from um, 0 all the way to the end of the array, we're going to keep increasing, incrementing i by 1. So for the entire length of the array, what's happening is that this uh, x position <coughs> of uh, uh, a0 uh, is going to be increased by 50 so we're, we're changing the first hero snake part by 50 and then we're changing the, um, the when, when um, i becomes 1 it's going to also push that to the right so we're cycling through the entire length of the uh, here of the array here and incrementing uh, each item by one so we're essentially pushing all the individual squares to the right this is good practice for understanding how to use arrays okay so hopefully uh, well let's run that first so you can see this snake here got pushed everything over to the right okay so now we're hopefully you got some experience here with the document classes with the idea of um, uh, a little bit of objects, object-oriented coding, as well as uh, uh, working with arrays.